YouTube. First video for quite a while, uh, a quiet year last year of van, not too much happening. Um, so I thought I'd bring you up to speed of what's been going. Last couple, last couple of months, there's been some significant developments and there are gonna be probably three or four more significant developments over the next three or four months. So I thought I'd start kicking some videos out again, just to let you know what's happening and to show you what's going off. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is just show you around what's happened and I'll talk to you a little bit about um, what's gonna happen next. So stay tuned. Okay, so first job that we did, uh, at Christmas we had a window failure, one of the barn door windows, the driver's side, well, I'm not sure if it failed and cracked or it were an actual result of an attempt to break in. Genuinely not sure on that, but Dean at DRD conversion, DRD conversions in Barnsley sorted us out pretty quick, he got us in in January. We had both done just purely because the, the windows, the replacement windows were slightly different so they weren't going to marry up with the original passenger side window. So I had both done, but I'll post a link in the description to for DRD conversions. If you want any jobs doing, camper van, full conversions to re repair jobs like me, definitely check them out. Very reasonably priced as well. Uh, um, but once we'd done that, I obviously got to start chatting to Dean. And we did one or two other bits as well, which is what I'm going to show you now. So something that I've been thinking about for a while, and if you watch some of my other videos, is that you notice I'd left the lower uh, bulkhead half in although half of the bulkhead in uh, and when I decided to do that before I did the floor and did the line and everything um, the modus operandi for the van conversion were a lot different to what it's actually turned up uh, turned out now or turned into now originally I just wanted a lined out van to carry mountain bikes and a bit of camping gear but obviously COVID and lockdown things evolved and we've gone into sort of day van mode uh, and once we'd evolved into that, I sort of regretted keeping it. But obviously when I um, got the windows done, I sort of told Dean about that and um, he said he could sort it out. So here you can see the bulkhead mounting points are out, all the, the mounting points on the side are out as well. Um, so we've now got a nice flush bulkheadless van, which is excellent because it opens up quite uh, the scope of what we can do inside now. So. At some point this year, there will be a swivel seat for the the dual um, the dual passenger seat, so that's on the list to do this summer. Uh, and that's sort of one thing that we noticed when we're out camping in this. If we had the ability to sort of swing that round, the actual inside space, a you'd have something to sit on, and the inside space, you know, bear in mind the dog could sleep on it with a cover or anything like that, is going to give us, you know, quite a lot more space. So, a lot we can do with that now. I'm still. I've decided on which, I think I've decided on which one I'm gonna get, but we'll see that might change. So there'll be a video coming on putting that in. But yeah, bulkhead is out and um, it weren't too hard a job. And it's a pretty neat job. I think we're about to be joined by a cat. No. Uh, so yeah, that's the big job, well, here we go. Marvin approves. So while the van were at DID conversions, another conversation I had with them, uh, with Dean there was uh, discussing, a, discussing a split charger. Now I'd sort of been looking at into uh, you know things on Amazon, 50, 60 quid jobs. I had a chat with him about it, and he sort of said they'll work okay, but with this being a Euro six emissions van, he says to get um, a split charger works well. You need certain types that will work with Euro six. I don't really understand the um, ins and outs of it. I don't know the make and model of this one. I have got it written down upstairs, so I'll put the link in, uh, or link or description in the description, or put some info about it. But this, you know, weren't cheap. Uh, but Dean installed it for us at DID Conversions. They uh, did a cracking job, nice, neat job. All runs through, works absolutely brilliantly. Um, to a point now where the 85 amp hour battery I've got is probably not really doing it justice. So I think we're probably going to upgrade this summer to at least one 120 amp hour and um, possibly two but what that allows us to do i have got a little 12 volt cooler we can now run that i haven't got an external look up so that's still a limitation but again just having the battery charging constantly now i don't have to check it out fill it up go camping run it down run out before you've come home you arrive fully charged we can run electrical appliances it'll run the inverter now as well i've got a 2000 
watt inverter um, that you can just attach onto the battery. So the scope of what we can do with the electrics is um, you know, is, a, is a lot greater now. So big thanks to them. I'll put some information about the charge again in the uh, description as well. But um, yeah, a little tip after speaking to some professionals is if you are thinking about installing a split charger, actually make sure you're getting the one, the right one for your van that's going to work, uh, you know, in the most optimal way. So that's a quick whistle stop tour of the changes that have happened in the last few months. Um, bit of a bleh, well I don't know if it <laughs> turned my bank account, but um, slight sort of blessing in disguise with the window failing. Because I've kind of got my mojo back with the van. Um, as you can see, we've done a lot with the interior. I had a new set of tyres put on it yesterday as well as I've gone down from a 275 40 20 to 275 35 20 which opens up the scope of doing other things as well so if you probably work that out but I'm going to, once I get that done probably sometime in June I'll do a, a video on why I've done that and, and the changes it's going to allow me to make and um, we've got a lot of other stuff so engine tuning stuff coming uh, various other bits and pieces hopefully one or two more uh, upgrades inside as well so stay tuned a lot happening as I said over the next three or four months Got a lot of maintenance stuff as well, it's in for the timing belt at the end of the month as well which is then going to give us a good platform to maybe sort of see what we can explore with tuning as well. I've been talking to a, a local company, a big name company, uh, which I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, spend again, spending money with them. Uh, but yeah, a lot coming, so um, video start, should start to flow again over the next couple of months, so stay tuned, please subscribe as well. And... Uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel.